Oh, hi. If you're trying to hide and afraid about being visible, this video is for you. Because in today's episode, I'm sharing with you about how you can increase your visibility at work to step out and to show up more professionally and energetically, not just at the dreaded holiday party, but throughout the entire year. I hope you join me for today's video. I'll see you in a few seconds. So, hey everyone and welcome. My name is John Narrell. I wanna welcome you to my weekly Facebook Live. Today is Wednesday, let me get this right, December 12th, 2018. And today is show number 44. We're talking about increasing your visibility. So if you're looking for ways to simply show up a little more professionally and energetically and get a little bit more visibility or exposure at work as you move your career forward, as I like to say, create your next advancement opportunity, then I hope you will listen to today's show because I'm sharing with you a few tips and strategies to help you just simply increase your visibility and go after exactly those career goals and leadership goals that you want. If you're listening here for the first time, I hope you can check out my website, johnnarrell.com, and there I have a wonderful free resource for you called Three Steps to Creating Your Next Advancement Opportunity Without Feeling Overwhelmed. It's a workbook designed to help you kind of work through a lot of the thoughts and processes as you go to create whatever that next advancement opportunity is for you. And as always, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, just email me or message me and let's schedule a phone call and see how I can help. So today, again, it's all about visibility. And if you subscribe to my email list, you know that I started this week by talking about the dreaded holiday party. And I just kind of want to begin here because I have enjoyed holiday parties and I have loathed them. And depending on where I was working at the time, it all kind of depended on like, where would you go and what would you do and everything. But, but the premise of it all is still the same. You know, I don't want to say you're kind of expected to go, but if you don't go, you feel like you missed out, right? I often equate the, equate the holiday party to like the, the first middle school dance you ever go to, right? And, and there's like maybe a couple people that are out there dancing and people just kind of hang out along the walls and maybe the boys are on one side and the girls are on the other and nobody really seems to have a great time until right before you're ready to leave maybe and then then the party kind of gets going so so the whole notion about different organizations having some kind of celebration at this time of year you know, we certainly know there's a lot of holidays that happen during this time. And so whether it's a potluck or it's a big fancy lunch at a nice restaurant or whatever that is, we have these holiday parties to go to. And it's important to be seen. I don't want to overlook that, right? People are like, ah, I just don't want to go to the party and hang out with those people. I don't want to hang out with my coworkers, or I don't want to go and hang out with so-and-so, whoever that might be. You go because you want to, and you see value in it. If you don't want to go to the holiday party, you're a grown-ass adult. No one's going to make you, all right? If you go to the party because you see value in it, great. If you don't, that's okay too. But you go because you want to, and there's value in it. How do you stretch yourself? How do you stretch yourself in a professionally social situation that allows you to show up a little bit differently? You know, it's so easy and comfortable to go to these parties and hang out with people you know. What would it look like if you decided that you were gonna introduce yourself to one new person or three new people or five or however it is, but you were just gonna stretch yourself just a little bit. You were going to internally network with somebody and have a few questions in your pocket that you could ask them 
to start a conversation. After the introductions, what kind of work do you do? Why do you enjoy it? What does it mean for you? What do you hate about it? Think of some questions that you can go ahead and ask to get the conversation started. A good friend of mine told me years ago that if you ever want to get somebody to talk, just ask them questions about themselves. You know, and ask questions that are not necessarily threatening, but that at least open up the conversation and the dialogue a little bit. Going to the party is all about your visibility. It is about being seen. You know, more often than not, people will notice who weren't there as opposed to who was there. So you want to be top of mind. You want to have an opportunity to say hello to your boss or the president of the company or whoever that might be, just to simply go and be seen with no expectation other than that. You know, when I, when I launched my coaching business full-time in January, my, my business coach, Jeff St. Laurent, pushed me um, appropriately to start these Facebook Lives. He's like, you need to be seen. You need to get yourself out there. And, you know, whether there's two people that join live or there's 20 people that join live or whoever catches the replay or whatever it is, I appreciate you coming into this space and spending time with me today. And I also appreciate anybody else who, who gets to watch it either on YouTube or they catch it off the website or they watch the replay, whatever it is, because it is about me increasing my visibility and the message that I have. I was talking with a, a really good friend of mine last week. It was someone with whom I had worked with several years ago. I'm just going to give a shout out to Alethea Felton here. But, you know, we were, we were talking about visibility and, and she's a, an emerging health and wellness coach, meaning she's just getting, getting ready to do some really exciting stuff. And, and I love her message that she has. And she was asking me about Facebook Lives. And then I said to her, you know, Alethea, it's all about just pushing the button and going live and, and talking about your message. And she did that over the weekend. She, she posted, I think it was her first or second Facebook Live, but, but watching her talk on camera and spread her message and, and just interact with people was, was just wonderful to see. And it's, it's nothing that has to be as big as that but find ways to increase your visibility. Find ways for you to just stretch yourself just a little bit beyond your comfort zone. How we show up and increase our visibility in the workspace. Look, I'm not asking you to do anything you're uncomfortable doing, but I am asking you to stretch yourself a little bit. And so here's a few strategies to help you with that. One, think about how you can increase your communication. The communication that you have doesn't necessarily have to be just by email or face-to-face -face conversation or by picking up the phone. Maybe it's about saying to a coworker, let's do a video call or let's turn on the camera today for our meeting so we can all see each other and interact with a little bit differently. Maybe you're really mindful about your nonverbal communication and how you actually talk to people and the messages you send non-verbally. There's a big difference between talking to people when we're like this, as opposed to like this. If you notice when I do these Facebook Lives, I never talk to you like this because it means I'm closed and protected and guarded or I'm angry. And that's never what I'm feeling when I'm talking to you here in this space. So, so think about how you can increase your communication. Another strategy is to go ahead and try something new. You know, think about learning a new skill that's going to help you professionally develop. Whatever that skill is, in whatever industry or profession you're at, it is always about our professional growth. And as we continue to grow and develop professionally, it is an easy way for us to increase our visibility doesn't mean necessarily going to get another degree, though if that's what you're doing, I think that's awesome. 
Maybe it's about taking a course, going to a training, sharing what you've learned when you come back to the office, or maybe it's something you're just doing on your own that you're really interested in, or it's a passion project. And it's something you can then in turn bring back into your place of business. Think about what that new skill might look like. A third strategy to increase your visibility is really take a hard look at the relationship you have with your boss, your supervisor, your manager. If you wanna be able to increase your visibility, this may be a good place for you to start. Think about how you can show up a little bit differently to her or him. Think about what it is you could do to maybe take on more responsibilities or have them mentor you with a particular skill that you're trying to learn. But increasing your relationship with your boss gets you exposure. And if it's done appropriately and it puts you into a far better light than where you were at, opportunities will open up for you. Number four is about engaging in more activities, right? So thinking about how you yourself could train people on your team, mentor people on your team, getting involved with onboarding, participating in different committees within your, uh, within your organization. I know a lot of companies now have ERGs, employee resource groups, and so getting involved with them and learning more about what, what their purpose is and what they're able to do and how they increase their visibility around the office, maybe something that you find value in and is interesting to you that can help you increase your visibility. And lastly, think about how you can increase your visibility by improving on one process, protocol, or, or big fancy business word here, thing in the office that you think needs improving and offer to lead the charge on it or start to lead it to help things just be a little bit more efficient or effective in what it is that you're doing. Showing some initiative and stretching yourself in that way is a great way to increase your visibility and to show up more professionally and energetically as we move into the new year. All right. Well, again, I want to thank you for spending some time with me today as we talk about how to simply just increase your visibility and think about how you want to challenge yourself moving forward, okay? Give yourself one thing that you're willing to stretch on just a little bit that's going to help you show up a little bit differently and add to the value and impact you bring into your workplace each and every day. So again, thank you for joining. I wish you a great rest of the day. If you're watching this on YouTube, please go ahead and, and click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me here on Facebook and we'll talk again next week, okay? Next week is show 45. It's gonna be the last show for 2018. So we're gonna, we're gonna do some celebrating the holidays and wrapping up 2018 and getting ourselves positioned for 2019. It seems like it was yesterday. We we're all worried about turning the uh, turning to 2000 and wondering if the world was going to be okay with it. So um, I'm excited about the new year, but I'm also excited about seeing you next week. Have a great one. We'll talk then. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thanks.